Hello, my name is Jean-Christophe Simtier. I'm a senior technical evangelist with Microsoft. And in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can manipulate OpenXML documents on a Mac. So I have prepared a few documents. There are text documents, there are some uh, spreadsheet documents, and some presentation. To start the demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can browse through the documents. So the Mac OS system is aware about the OpenXML structure document. I can show you the preview of the document. To start with, as a demonstration, I'm going to open a text document. This uh, docx document was created with uh, Word 2007, and when we open the document with the Pages application, it shows a few warnings. Because the Pages application doesn't have the same feature set, some things may be different. In this example, for for example, there are some missing fonts. So the application here proposes you a way to fix this error, and then you can select the appropriate font. The other warning tells you that there are some differences in rendering some of the aspect of the document. But when you look at the overall document, the layout is well preserved. Uh, even some advanced features like text frame are still uh, preserved uh, by the Pages application. And if you go down to the document, you can see that the three column layout is still here, the highlighting, the strikeout. And then if you go down to the tables, you can see that the tables and the layout of the table is still here. So even some background information and uh, different kind of formatting. So overall, the document is really uh, well converted. So now let's move to the next demonstration, which is a spreadsheet document. This document was created with uh, Office Excel 2007, so let's just open it. And uh, this time there is no warning because the document is simple enough, but still you have some formulas. Uh, the overall layout and presentation of the tables are still preserved. And actually this document, when the numbers application opens it, is converted to the native format of the numbers uh, application. So to conclude this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and open a presentation file. This file was created with uh, PowerPoint 2007. And so while the document is loaded, and converted by the Keynote application into its own internal format. It gives you a report showing, in this case, one warning saying that some errors occur while importing this document, so the data might look a little bit different. And in that case, uh, the main difference is through one slide where originally we use a feature in PowerPoint which is a smart art allowing to create uh, easily advanced graphic. But even though this feature is not implemented in the Keynote application, the text, the graphics, the shapes are properly converted into some editable uh, components. So you can edit the text, you can modify the shapes. If I look at uh, uh, a little bit more sophisticated slide, for example this one, you cannot see them here but there are multiple layouts and uh, some basic animation to discover the slide. So if I go into the slideshow mode, then I can see the different animation which are preserved through the conversion mechanism. So even if I look at some more advanced uh, animation on this slide illustrating how you can achieve interoperability either through uniform standard but also through translation which is exactly what happened here.